We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We're looking at Prune Face, now known canonically as his name, Ori Marco. But he's always been Prune Face for me. The original Prunester, as I like to call him. I don't, I just made that up on the spot. Um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> this one's been on my list for a little while, so I decided now is a very prudent time, I, I, I guess. I don't know. What do you think? Um, <laughs> yeah, this guy, first release of this figure, um, Power of the Force. Back in, uh, the splendid year of 1998. A far simpler time. He's cool. I like him. Who doesn't like a, you know, a kind of a peanut, uh, you know, almost testicular looking head with an eye patch. I like to think this guy is like the Nick Fury of Star Wars solely for the fact that he's got an eye patch and uh, if you've seen the full robot chicken sketch which I will probably try and put a part of at the start of the video so if I, if I did end up doing that it was meaning I wasn't being lazy and I actually did it. Um, he is a true action hero. Yeah, this guy and his counterpart uh, were present at the uh, the briefing over Endor when uh, they were putting together the mission to go to Endor. And you can sort of just sort of see him and the other one. I can't remember his name. I do have the figure. I do have the more updated prune face here. So I thought I'd just do a little bit of a side by side. So he's not looking any less nutsacky in the face. He's uh, definitely more of an updated figure. Um, let me take the soft goods off. So he's, uh, you know, he's. I, I think this guy still holds up, considering his. Let's have a look, see if he's got a year on him. So 2009. So yeah, legacy collection. 2009 era. Arguably one of the best times of, to be a collector, Star Wars collector. There's some of the some of the best figures, the best lines, sort of in those late 2000s, early 2010s. But uh, yeah, that is the modern prune face. But we're here talking about the classic Power of the Force, 90s era hero of the Rebellion, arguably, and why he hasn't got a spin-off. I actually wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get that off, the poncho there. But I did. I succeeded. Actually kind of looks like it's been sliced, so maybe... I don't know. I don't recall ever having to do that, but... Nevertheless, here he is. I'm not sure whether the arms are meant to be a slightly different colour. I think so. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a different colour. He's got the sort of soft vest there. I do want to get a close-up of his face, so you can... As close as I can get, anyway. There we go. The original Prune Star. It's like, yeah, you look at it from top, top down, it's not an overly nice looking... Nice looking thing, is it? Maybe that's just my imagination. Um, yeah, I don't think he comes with this blaster. This is just something I've had in his hand for a long time. So it can stay there for now until I eventually get around to sorting through my Power of the Force accessories and matching them all up to the correct figure. But for now, we're talking about the figure anyway. So 
not too fussed about the accessories. I try and match them up as often as I can. But, uh, yeah, I like this guy. I like Prune Face. What a name, though, Prune Face. It was clearly a, a Kenner thing back in the 90s, so just, oh, let's give him a name. It was before that, probably. Just Prune Face. No, there was, I'm sorry, I was stated before that there wasn't a vintage prune face, but there in fact was. It's looking at me with one eye, I'm going to grab it. So here is the original prune face, just wasn't jumping out at me. I even looked, but um, I was certain there was, but, so if I do get any comments correcting me about this being the first one, I know exactly that you haven't watched through the rest of the video to find out that I'd did work it out in the end, despite being a little bit slow. But that's okay. Yeah, this one's uh, not in the best shape. Obviously, his eye patch has been worn off, among with all the other paint of paint details on the figure. But yeah, I can't believe I forgot that. Let alone not see it when I went looking before. So there we are, three different Pruny boys. The John Prunler trio. Prune Vana, I don't know. I'm just thinking of uh, bands with three members. But ding! But yeah, there is a vintage prune face. Stand myself corrected. But uh, yeah, this one is yeah, he's just a wacky, a wacky alien who's probably gone through life struggling with not having. I don't know, maybe he's, I was about to say, he's struggling with life as uh, not being an overly handsome fellow, but maybe on his planet, he is maybe a, an exquisite specimen. Uh, Prunonia. I don't know, I'm just making that up. <laughs> Prune facetus. Anyway, folks, I'm going to wrap up before I start losing my mind too much. I do appreciate you tuning in. Another episode of Power of the Force Friday. Looking at the pruny, the pruny-faced Ori Marco. I'll be back next week for another cool episode. I hope it's cool. I hope this one's cool. Please let me know if it's cool. I'll see you again, folks. Until then, may the force be with you.